Hello everyone and welcome back to the King of the Ring. This is the first of our four quarter final matches. The loading screens don't last very long, do they? We now have the official CM Punk actually on the game from the recent DLC, which is great. For the first time in God knows how many years I've not had to deal with stupid CM Punk cores. Plus without a tattoo CM Punk Scott, it's handy for the logo space as well, I must say. Uh, going up against Sami Zayn, so of course CM Punk got through by defeating Samoa Joe in round number one. Uh, Sami Zayn defeated Kevin Owens. Where are they in the ranking system though? CM Punk currently sits in 23rd position on plus 11. After 47 matches, Sami Zayn currently sits in 566th position on zero after 23 matches. Is that a fair old whack? But not enough to get him any higher than where he is currently. I remember that we have got count outs turned off because I was getting pissed off of them. So uh, this is an interesting one. It can literally go on the outside for quite some time. However, of course, disqualifications still count. And pinfalls and submissions have to take place inside of the ring. Uh, got the proper Sammy. I don't know what happened last time. I decided when we did the uh, first round, I was going to uh, utilize Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's WrestleMania attires. I didn't realize they're both just like street clothes. It's a bit weird, really. So now we've got a proper Sami Zayn attire this time, which is good. As Punk drops in with the elbow, another big elbow as well. Jawbreaker, and there's the chops and strikes there by Sami Zayn. Up he goes, and down he goes as well. CM Punk now catches Zayn's fist and tries to drag him towards the middle of the ring, but it never works. Dragging never works in this game. I don't know why so many people try it all the time. Sami Zayn now rolling CM Punk through. Gonna drag him. Like, be interested when they say Sami Zayn needs some points. Uh, he's up to a zero now, which is great for him because he was pretty low down at one point. Um, but now he's back up to zero. I mean, if he wins this, this zero all of a sudden turns to plus one, and that'll move him up over a hundred positions um, to, to join the likes of well, Will Ospreay, Pack, and those sort of players on the plus one page. And they're in a terrible position as well, the but again, there are people that have slowly had a terrible start. I mean, Will Ospreay had five matches in 2022 and lost all five. Hence why he is so low at the moment. Every time I look at it, I feel like there's people that I need to be given more. Like Kenta Kobashi, plus one after ten matches. Jonathan Gresham, plus one after nine matches. I mean, the Miz is on there. And Yoko Zuna as well. I mean, they're both on the game. I don't know why I'm not giving them as much time as they possibly could. The problem is, I know why we're not giving them as much time as possibly could, and it's the same thing Omega said the other day. We've got over a thousand male wrestlers on our on our roster. We have got over 340 female wrestlers on our roster. Nearly 1,400 people. No wonder we can't get everyone opportunities, but there we go. We'll keep going. And now these two trading strikes. See the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth from these two. Who's going to come out on top? I feel like Punk is probably the better striker out of the two, but we're about to find out. Yep, Punk does come out on top of that. And straight in, looking for the Anaconda Vice. Very close to the ropes, but the arm is hooked. He can't grab the rope. Uh, the referee does make him break it. I think he might have been too close. Maybe underneath the ropes. Zane playing possum. Spins Punk around. And a lovely exploder into the corner. There's the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. 
A Luva kick in the corner. I tell you what, if Sami Zayn knocks out CM Punk, this will be a massive scalp. There's the pin for the one, two, and oh my god, I thought that was it then. I really thought that was going to be the free count. Punk now with a boot in the gut. And there goes Zayn up on the shoulders. GTS out of nowhere. Wow. Punk was in a terrible situation. One GTS. It wasn't enough though. Punk almost turned into the classic John Cena he hated then. Getting beaten down for a chunk of time. Then pulling out one finisher and winning. But it wasn't the case. It was a kick out. Punk heading up to the top. We know he loves to utilise that big elbow. The Macho Man elbow. That's not what he's going for here though. As he wills... Sami Zayn back up, catches him with the crossbody. Big boots into the spine now by CM Punk. Punk once again brings Zayn back up. Went for the springboard crossbody, was slapped out of the way. And Punk straight away in with the dragon screw. Big elbow as well. So very much back and forth this one. And it's Punk who's in control at this point. Big knee. CM Punk now with the DDT to the knee as well. And once again, GTS for the second time in the match. CM Punk surely now for the one, for the two, and for the semi-finals. No! Punk once again now willing Zayn up. In with a big crossbody attempt. Zayn caught him. In with a scoop slam. Zayn has been busted open. Zayn now with the clothesline, skips underneath, aim with a drop kick. Sami Zayn now oh, got caught with the elbow in the gut. And now Punk taking Zayn up. Zayn able to fall back and then chops away at the back of the knee. Springs off into the DDT as well. Sami Zayn in full control of this match once again, but does he have enough to finish CM Punk off? Big boot in the spine there by CM Punk once again, now heading up to the top. Is he thinking Macho Man Elbow this time? No, again, he's willing to wait for Zayn to get back up to his feet and again go for the big crossbody. And again, he hits it for the one, two. No, only a two count still. Big forearm right into the face of Sami Zayn. And CM Punk taunting Zayn. Zayn got back up on his feet on the outside. I thought Punk might have left it too long, but Zayn gets caught with a big dive to the outside. Zayn now pops around and gets caught with the uppercut. Zayn now sent back into the ring, surely. Surely, CM Punk's got to be in a good position here, and he thinks the same as he rolls Zayn over. Is it been enough? Yes! The straw that broke the camel's back is enough to get him through. CM Punk wins the match and moves through to the second, well, the semi-final, should I say. He will face off against the winner of Gunther and Will Ospreay. 
Let's update the rankings then. Sami Zayn with his first loss of the year moves down to a minus one. And CM Punk with his third win of the year. Uh, moves up to a plus 12 in the rankings. There we go. CM Punk moves up to 20th now on equal points with The Rock and Jay White. That would be an interesting triple threat. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, hit the like and subscribe. Leave a good stuff. And I will see you again uh, tomorrow for Gunther versus Will Ospreay. That's going to be a mixture of hard hitting and high flying. Looking forward to that bad boy. I'd be interested to see which one takes on Punk. And don't forget as well, the other two quarterfinals, Finn Balor versus AJ Styles and Brett the Hitman Hart versus Kazuchika Okada. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. Love you all. Bye-bye.